Good morning and welcome to PPP Systems Limited. Today I wanted to talk about the Citizen CLS621 thermal printer and using continuous media. Now there's two or three, four different ways to make number plates. But one of the most popular is to have dry reflective panels in yellow and in white and acrylic um, which have got adhesive on and you basically print the reg <coughs> onto the dry reflective through something like this citizen there are other thermal printers out there and then ultimately put the uh, acrylic on there to make the plate Alternatively, you can take what we call ABS reflective, so it's basically a 3.1 millimeter ABS, it's black, reflective is on surface, and then what we do is we print to clear acetate, and then that clear acetate goes down onto the adhesive that is under here. And those fundamental two ways to do it. Now one of the big problems with um, thermal printers is often the feed and when you're feeding individual when you're feeding individual pieces of dry reflective or um, uh, acetate there's, there's issues. There's always alignment issues um, in terms of where the reg sits on it. So what I'm trying to do today is, is look at using continuous media. And if I turn this around, you will see that on the back here, I have a roll of clear film. Now the reason I'm using film is because we have yellow and white plates, if I wanted to do continuous reflective, such as these, I would need two printers. Also, a piece of, of um, dry reflective is more than double the price of a piece of acetate. So, often these thermal printers will mess up, the ribbon doesn't sit correctly, and it can be quite costly. Now, the important thing to this is getting it set up and getting the feed right um, and this has been a challenge for well for many people so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take the lid off just makes life a little e life a little easier and then I'm going to set the and I'm going to show you how we set the media okay so here we have our printer I'm going to show you how to set the media first um, in terms of its position. So we lift the head and we lift the media holder. We take our media and we position it in here. Now there's a guide here and there's a guide here. This one you can move and adjust. As far as the sensors go, you push the bottom sensor as far over as you can. You put your media in so that it, it fits nicely in between and you've got that nicely set. You then put down the holding and you make sure you move this over as far to the right as it'll go. There's a locking catch just here. I just leave it open, it doesn't do any harm. So now that I've got that in position, what I do is I roll back, and bear in mind, once you've done this with the continuous media the first time, then you only ever need to do it again when a roll of material runs out. And you can buy these rolls in um, hundreds and two hundreds. Now, I've just been a bit sloppy there. Come back again. Right. So what I've done is I put the media where so that it doesn't touch the roller and then I'm going to close the roller down 
and that's it locked in place. Now you can't see it but there's a little option in, in the software um, that's on the laptop that you saw earlier and I'm just going to click that set button. Now what it does with this is it moves the ribbon 20 mil or so. Now what I do is I push the media in until I feel it against the rubber and then I press this feed button. And if you can see the media has come out and that's it set. And once you've done that you shouldn't have to do it again until you come to change the roll of media. Okay, so now we've got our media set just here. We now come to the software. Everything is set up and all I have to do is literally click print and it will go ahead, go away. And if you look, the print is in reverse. I don't know if you can see that or not. And here's a perfect example of a ribbon going wrong uh, where it's creased itself up and this piece of material is potentially wasted and we have to um, print again. Now, what has happened is this perforation is right on the edge where it should be. And if I click again, it will pull back and print in exactly the same place again. And this time the print is perfect, the perforation is back exactly where it needs to be. I then tear off, I'll tear that one off because it's wrong. I then, I then take my piece of ABS, whether I use yellow or I use white, and I stick it down. And I hope you can see how nice the quality is on this. These are, really really lovely print that you get so it's printed on this side and then you lay it down into the plate in my opinion between using acrylic and using ABS I would, I would use I would use ABS every time it is a much nicer finish and the other thing that's really good about the ABS is because the reg is nicely on the surface here when you come to use 3d and 4d characters you can print the reg and then you can lay the characters exactly onto the printed and it's just a much much nicer quality plate. I hope that's been of interest thank you for your time